Hello and welcome to this new video about Nextcloud tips. Today I want to show you how to add the full text search app to Nextcloud. This functionality enables you to search strings in files hosted in a Nextcloud instance. Elasticsearch is used as backend. There are a few caveats when setting up Elasticsearch and we'll see them when going through the setup. In this video, I assume that Nextcloud and Elasticsearch are set up using Docker Compose. First things first, install the three full text search apps which I linked in the description. These are the standard apps available in the official Nextcloud store. Open the Nextcloud admin page, then go to the Full Text Search tab to set up Elasticsearch. We have to set HTTP Elasticsearch 9200 in the field called Address of a Servlet. This hostname will be set up in the Docker Compose file later in the video. We can then use the default values My Index for Index and standard for analyzer tokenizer. Finally, tick all these boxes. Navigation icon, local files, group folders, extract PDF and extract office. The last important setting is the maximum file size. I have set 64 megabytes for this one. After going through the configuration of a front end, the full text search does not work yet because we still need to install and set up the backend. To do this, we must change the Docker Compose file. Starting from the next cloud service, we see that an access Elasticsearch is configured as dependency of Nextcloud. This is achieved by adding the Elasticsearch value to the links and depends on this of the Nextcloud service. You then need to create a new service called Elasticsearch. Use a pinned image version such as Elasticsearch 7.17.9. We'll see the reason for this later. Set the hostname value to Elasticsearch and the exposed port to 9200. This corresponds to what we did earlier in the video when we set the servlet URL. After handling the network, we must set up the volumes. We need two volumes, one for the search data and the other for the plugins. Keep the data volume commented for the moment. The last setting is crucial. If you comment or remove the mem limit key value, Elasticsearch will use all the available RAM. You must set a limit based on the RAM you want to use. We now need to install the Images Attachment Elasticsearch plugin. Do this by restarting Nextcloud with the Elasticsearch backend enabled. Stop the services before continuing. Now. Create the Elasticsearch data directory with a normal mkdir command. Before enabling the Elasticsearch data directory volume, we need to change the permission of its mounted directory. Using these two commands enables us to get the user ID of the Elasticsearch data directory in the container. We can then use chmod on the esdatapath directory and then enable the volume in the Docker Compose file. Now, restart the next cloud container. To check if Elasticsearch works, we will run several commands provided by the Nextcloud CLI, starting from the full text search test command. If everything works, you shouldn't see any error. Now run a full indexing. This might take a long time depending on the number of files in your instance. I now try to search for a string both from the search icon and from the dedicated app. 
To regularly index new files without manual intervention, you should set up a systemd timer that executes the OCC full text search index command. In my case, my server runs the command once a day. You can also use a different command that indexes file real time at the cost of overall performance. Before closing off this video, I need to explain the reason why I pinned the Elasticsearch image in the Docker Compose file. Pinning prevents involuntarily updating of the images when a Docker container is restarted. In this case, when Elasticsearch is upgraded, you need to remove the existing ingest attachment and reinstall it again. If you skip this step, Elasticsearch doesn't work anymore. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if your setup went smoothly. Bye bye.